Okay, we're just about to leave and head off to a place called Norman View. It's a stopover, it's in Wexford, it's about 40 minutes from here. And I've never stayed there before, but we're on a, a Facebook page for Heimer owners and they swear by this place. There's about 10 hard stands, some with electricity, some don't have electricity. So it's about 45 minutes from here, the usual, a little bit of driving music. Uh, we'll stop possibly for a bit of breakfast when we get there and then come back to you and take a walk around uh, Norman View. Okay, mind how you go, we'll talk in a couple of minutes. Now, are you going to move this time? I can't drive with you there. Thirty-three for twenty-seven kilometers. Here we are, we've made it to Norman View Motorhome Park. It's not a campsite, it's a working farm and they have about 10 hard stands and I think seven or eight of them have electricity. And I'm plugged in and it's 12 euro a night, it might be 14 euro a night with electricity. I'll find out a wee bit later on when I chat to the guy. Um, there's, there's nothing around, we're on a working farm. Uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna take you for a walk around the site now, in a couple of seconds, we'll take this guy out for a walk. Uh, I'm trying the new gimbal again, and it just seems to want to go that way for some reason. So I don't know whether I should be looking over here or whether I should be looking over here. So bear with me while I get used to this new technology. We've got a windsock on the microphone. So let's just head out and, um, oh yeah, Norman View is feathered on sea in County Wexford. There's a feathered in County Tipperary, but it's feathered on sea, County Wexford. Now you pass two other motorhome parks and campsites to get to here so just make sure you keep going but your sat nav should get it to um john's hill is the address okay let's turn the camera let's go for a walk from just where we're parked we're on the second stand and uh, i'll take you for a walk around so let's go ahead and take a look so as we make our way that's uh one of the spots there with electricity we're there with electricity they all have electricity. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with electricity. Okay. And then there's one, two, three, four, five more here with no electricity. But uh, that's the view you have. I think it's called Norman View because out there in the distance there's a castle. station here for your camper van and then a uh, dump station in there which is so Irish <laughs> for the toilet.
Heimer Club sticker. So here we are at Norman View Motorhome Park. It's just for motorhomes, it's a stopover, and oh, what a view. Just thinking we're here at Norman View Motorhome Park and we're only 10 minutes from Hookhead which is a stopover with no amenities no electricity no nothing just beautiful scenery so myself and Charlie are going to incorporate Hookhead into this video because this video has been pretty short so we'll take a spin we've got to go and empty our tanks and empty our toilet and then we'll do a little bit of road footage as we make our way towards Hookhead it's just a stopover and we'll only be there for two or three minutes, but it's on the way home. So I'm gonna go, gotta empty our water tanks, and uh, we'll hit the road and do a little bit of road footage on our way to Hookhead also in County Wexford. Now on the way to Hookhead, there's a place called Loftus Hall. Allegedly, seemingly, it's the most haunted house in Ireland. Let me show you this. Now this is not Loftus Hall, but let me tell you a story about this deserted house. I was doing a photo shoot with some models and they wanted to shoot inside that house and I wouldn't go in. It was just too frightening. So what chance do you think you have of getting me to go in to Loftus House? That's not it. This is it here. So here we are at Hook Lighthouse, Hook Head. There's nothing to do here. There's no amenities. In Hook Lighthouse, you can pay for a tour of the lighthouse. There's a beautiful, well-priced restaurant. There's a little museum about the fish and the whales. There's actually a spot up here that people go for whale watching and dolphin watching. There's a chap whose motorhome you'll see in a second. He seems to live here. And that's it. It's just a nice place to stop, stay overnight, there are a few people trying to stop campers from staying here and there are other people who think it's a great thing because you spend your money in the amenities next door. So let's just change the jacket, put a coat on, head outside, give you a look at the lighthouse, give you a look at the scenery and then myself and Charlie are heading home. Okay? Back in a second. Okay, so we've made it out of the camper and uh, oh, the wind is pretty mad. It's a beautiful day. I mentioned to you earlier that there's a, a chap that actually lives here. That's his motor home over there. Oh, it's pretty crazy here. I don't want Charlie to get too close to the cliff's edge. Uh, the sun may hinder our view of Hook Lighthouse. This way, Charlie. But that's it there. Uh, it's a working lighthouse. There's plenty of spaces to park, as you can see. here and we've been here a few times sometimes just for the day we've used the amenities we've spent money in the restaurant and uh, you know I, 
We've cleaned up after us. We've used our own toilets. But some people are just small-minded when it comes to motorhomes. Back this way, Charlie. But this is what you're greeted with on a December morning. That hook head. Unfortunately, a few lives, young and old, have been lost on these shores. So if you do come here, please be very, very careful. I just had to show you this. Hang on a second. I'm here editing the video, putting hook head into this. And look what the star of the show is doing. Resting. Maybe he's supervising. Is everything okay? So there we have hook head. It's just a stopover. You can stay here for a night or two if you like, but it's just beautiful on a sunny afternoon or even like today on a winter's day. You've seen the lighthouse, there is a restaurant. You have no facilities like water or anything like that. So make sure you're topped up. Now we're gonna hop back into the video of Norman View because I had recorded a synopsis from there and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Goodbye from Hookhead and hello again from Norman View. A little synopsis on the park. It's new, it's, it, I think it's only about a year old. I think the guy is doing an absolute brilliant job on it. I'd say he's going to expand it. It says 12 euro per night, and then on the electrical sockets is an extra two euro. So let's go at 14 euro a night. There is fresh water, lots of fresh water. There is somewhere to dump your toilet, and there's somewhere to dump your great tanks as well. It's a nice place. I can't wait to get back here in summer of 2019 and do a proper review with people here on site. From Charlie and me, our camping vlog. Thanks for joining us and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. See you later. Bye-bye.